welcome to another video. Today we are going to make a uh, koi mangkuk with Lily Wong. Okay, she's going to teach us a secret recipe on how to make, you know, the koi bucket that melts in your mouth. Chinya chia hole ay. Okay, so uh, let's go through the ingredients. Uh, what do you have? This one is tapioca flour. Tapioca flour. This one, yeah. Yeah, this one. Okay, you can buy any brand as long as it's tapioca flour. How much do you put? Ah, uh, I actually use about 300 grams. Okay. And I put about 100 grams. Add a bit of this cornstarch. Okay. So it's more light and fluffy. So, uh, three to one for tapioca flour and cornstarch. Yeah. Uh, any anything else to add into the flour? Ah, uh, no. Okay. So what do you do with the flour? Ah, uh, we're gonna fry it. Okay. Over a low low heat, okay. and we are gonna cut up this into about one inch strips. So that's dang pandan. Yeah, dang pandan to give it the fragrance. So okay. we're gonna fry this. Okay. What is the heat. reason of frying it? So that the koi bangkit will be light and fluffy, and of course it brings about the result of melting in the mouth. Okay, because all the moisture has been taken out from the cookie, lah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So we have uh, the flour. Uh, Sugar? Yeah, we have about uh, 120 grams of plastic sugar. Okay. And about 140 grams. What do we do with the sugar? Oh, the sugar, we are going to take the yolk from these eggs. Just okay. the yolk. No egg. Just the egg. So okay. we are going to cream it together, whisk it together with the sugar. So two egg yolks? Enough? Yeah, enough because we, we are just using about that proportion. And how long do we cream it? Cream until it's uh, white? We'll cream Fluffy. it until it's uh, creamy and then lightish coloured okay. and uh, fluffy. Okay, good. And then santan, the After best? We add the santan. So the santan, uh, try and get fresh one. Uh, try not to use yeah. the one from the boxes. Yeah, we are using the thick santan from the market. Okay, that's good. And then let's talk about some of the koi bangkit in. Okay, we've got fantastic moles here. You've got the fish, chicken and all that stuff. Uh, animal shapes. Animal shapes. So as you were pointing out this now, okay, try to avoid koi bangkit moles that has sharp edges like that, that comes out. Because these cookies, when it prints out, all these edges will actually break off though. It's, it becomes very delicate. So, it's good to have those that are actually rounded like that. So a cookie, you know, it doesn't break off so easily. It holds its shape better, you know. So if you are new, you're going to buy some koi bangkit molds, try and get those that have rounded shape, things like that. Rather than... I mean, the, the sharp edges will be very nice yeah. with the texture, but eventually they, they might just stick to the corners, you know. Ah, so when you heat up, That's true. then... Yeah. All the sharp edges, then you got to take two pick and clean, clean, clean. Ah, yo, so much trouble. Okay, so the difference with the koi bangkit more, uh, koi bangkit we're going to make today is we're going to add some color onto it. Okay, koi bangkit traditionally in Penang has been always white. So I say, why not do it colorful? Okay, so for today we're going to do it light green. We're going to blend and extract from the dam pandan. Uh, with we got blue pea flowers, which has been uh, dehydrated. We will put it in water, extract some of the blue color. And then of course, we got um, dragon fruit. Dragon fruit, we are going to make the thing pink. So besides white, we are going to have light green, light blue, and pink. It's going to be fantastic, okay? So let's, let's go and do the quick one, okay? Okay. Wow, the dampanan has become so crispy and dry. How do you, how long do you fry the flour? About fifteen to twenty minutes. Fifteen to twenty minutes, and be careful. No doubt, it looks very crispy and dry. It's super hot, so do not pick it up with your hands. Okay, use a chopstick. Okay, Lily. So the flour. Uh, we got to let it cool first. So some people will cook it like one or two days beforehand. Yes. Huh? Okay. Then from the flour, you'll sieve it to remove whatever is inside. Yeah. Huh? We just want it to be Anything fine. Anything that remains from the dried pandan. Okay. But anyway, if we sieve it, then it becomes more airy. Okay. That's a lot better. 
So don't don't use the flour straight from the kuali hot and then you sieve and then you try and make a kuali bangkit. Give it time. To huh? cool down. To cool down. Okay. Okay, so make it into balls so that we can separate them into different colors. Oh, and then will they dry out? Yeah, they're gonna dry. So, what I'm gonna do is cover with this muslin. Oh, fantastic! So, As cover I it. Work along. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we got some blue color here. Yeah, not too much of it. Okay, let's okay. always go little by little yeah. in case it gets too moist. This is so exciting. Koi bake with color. So what happens, Lily, if the dough, if we put too much water, can we add some flour that we had earlier on? Yeah. Oh, okay. So is that too bad? A little bit. Shall we add some flour? Yeah, a little bit. Is this how we work? Okay. Anyway, it's going to dry up soon if it's exposed to the air. I think this colour is fine. Oh, right, like it. You never know until you bake it, you know, because the colour could be very different once you cook the kuih bangkit. Okay, so we want to blend some pandan. So we got some pandan colouring, which looks very... Uh, very nice. Yeah. Of course, it enhances the flavour, which is fantastic. It's too bad, really. That's oh, it's too bad. Now. Okay, so... The flour will come to the rescue. Have no fear. Have flour. So to avoid the dough from sticking to the mold, we dust it with some powder. Okay, and then it's the same fried powder. Ah. Uh, okay. After that, we are gonna get ready. Yes, my flour. Yeah. So you can see the pink color. It's very light. You know, I'm not going for the jinjang kind of color. Press it it's gently. Still yeah. Pink. Press it, press it gently into the mold. Cut the excess out, lah. Yeah. Huh? I like the last one. Huh? Yeah, very it's a tiger, right? Eh? After that, we will huh? just cut out the excess. Okay. Here we go. So we need to arrange. Ah, beautiful. Then we'll arrange all these little things and then it's ready for baking. Look at how beautiful they look. Yeah, so huh? cute. So 
So this is just uh, out from the oven. Then we dot the red artificial cochineal, you know, on on the ice, no. It's so exciting, isn't it? All these little cookies with so much attention to detail. Yeah, it's fun to do it in a group of friends, family, mm. and just to see the animals. Come to life, ah. Ah, when you tell me about you. Mm. What? Some can put two eyes on. Ah, some can put two eyes. So as you can see here, the colors that we have chosen is something very pastel. And uh, I think they look lovely though. No? A yeah, little bit pink, a little bit green. Adds a bit of color to the usual white. To the usual white. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now the moment of truth. You gotta taste one and see whether the cream bucket actually melts in the mouth. Let's try. See. How of course, we made it. We're going to be biased. We're going to Kong Ho Chiang, huh? Yeah, it's good. But what makes a koi bangkit fantastic? Mm. The ingredients. I think it has to be lemak. Mm. So when it touches the sliver, it just dissolves. And then you get the fragrance of the dam pandan. And then after that, you get the lemakness from the santan. Oh, heaven. This is this is terrible. We'll never see, stop eating. See how it breaks easily. Correct. Oh. It melts in the mouth. Hmm. Try. It. You should go back and do. Is that good? This tastes so colorful. Right? Mm. Try adding some colors. Look at that. It doesn't have to be strong pink, strong green. It can be all light, pastel. It's still lovely. It's still fun. Have fun. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.